Hello friends, today we will be discussing about uh, whether you can make a money in network marketing business. Does it work? Can, can it make you rich? Okay, so let's dive into it and understand, uh, is it really worth it? So we'll reveal the secret today. All right, okay. Can network marketing make you rich? What do you think? Will it? Does it work? Have you seen anyone making money? Or have you seen anyone quitting their business and never been successful? Okay, so let's discuss about this. So network marketing business, just like any other business, this is a proper business where you have to take this business uh, just like a business. Okay, so anything you do in life, you know, you'll always find people who are successful in that and there are people who are unsuccessful in that. So that means, uh, just because, uh, you know, one of your friends, you know, someone who, uh, you know, left college or left a school doesn't mean that the school system doesn't work or uh, no one graduates from, from a college or a university. Okay. So exactly the same way network marketing is no difference or for any business in the, for that sake, you know, if you take any example, any kind of an industry, maybe business, maybe even in job as well. Okay, probably your profession, you are an accountant, and there probably are other uh, students, uh, you know, who are pursuing accounting studies, and they could not make it, and you made it, and you made accounting as a career. You are a doctor, or you are working wherever you are working. Uh, you do not find all of your friends in that profession, okay? So exactly the same way, you know, network marketing is no different, okay? Or anything in, in your life, if you do, Success depends on you. Success depends on me, whether I can make it successful or not, okay? It's never, we can never blame or may, you can ne never, um, uh, you know, uh, say that, you know, somebody is successful because of, uh, you know, a certain factor or not successful because of certain factor, okay? It all boils down to that person, that individual, okay? However, however, okay, there may be or there are certain occasions where probably if you do not choose a right network marketing company and the company goes bankrupt or they went out of the business, then what? You may have a feeling that network marketing is a scam, okay? So that is where, you know, we'll discuss about how can you make it work? So your question should be that will the network marketing make you rich? Instead of uh, that, your question should be how can I make it work so that I can be rich? Okay, so that is that is the sort of a change of thought process or change of attitude between between people who are successful and people who are un unsuccessful. People who are successful, uh, you know, they uh, ask themselves how. And always, okay, how can I make it work? Okay, so other people who are not successful, they just go by, uh, you know, go by the, you know, the crowd and whatever other people say doesn't work. You know, they feel like, okay, it doesn't work. If somebody says it works, they say it works, okay? So it all boils down to, you know, whether you have a desire to make it work, okay? So why then people, you know, why some people may make it and they become extremely rich and, you know, wealthy and, uh, you know, they have the financial freedom as you know the network marketing business provides and some people do not what what is the difference so guys i have been in network marketing industry for more than a decade now what what i would say that it all boils down to the attitude okay so first thing first what is attitude okay most of the people who join which you start the network marketing business uh, they um kind of they come from an employment background okay so that means they, they do not get into a network marketing business because they have a dream. Just like, uh, you know, uh, let's say, um, uh, take any example of a very successful person. Let's for example, uh, you know, Bill Gates, okay? Now, from, from a very beginning, from his early childhood, he has that dream, you know, he has that passion of coding and, uh, you know, uh, putting uh, putting together certain lines of quotes. And while he was in school, he was doing it. So that means he had a passion for it, okay? Now, nobody comes and says that, okay, I have a passion for network marketing and I have a dream to become a network marketer. It never happens, okay? 
So that is the reason why you know people get uh, you know in a job they are already working for somewhere uh, uh, for, for for someone for another company and they decide to build uh, a network marketing business as well. So what happens there is a. Uh, uh, you know, they have a attitude or thought process of an employee, okay? And when they move uh, move on to become an entrepreneur or they start, off, uh, start thinking of uh, building a network marketing business, then, you know, that's a whole complete, uh, you know, different mindset altogether, employment versus entrepreneurship. Employment is where, you know, you work and you are paid. You are for sure, you know that how much you are going to make. Entrepreneurship is never works like that. Okay, so you have to first put the foundation for you have to put that efforts of learning the business and how to work. Okay, so if you, with the job where you are working, probably you went through the process of education or um, to land uh, into that job where where you are working. But in a, in an entrepreneurship journey and a business journey, you have to fail first. You have to. Uh, so the failing is where you are learning the business, learning the details of uh, you know how do you market your products, how do you talk to people, what are the products, and uh, you know how can uh, how to initiate a conversation, how to build a team, how to keep uh, uh, keep a team, how to lead a team. There are so many aspects of of a business or a network marketing business. So you have to master, you have to learn. Okay, so you cannot be expecting to make money from day one. So a lot of people when they get in and they don't see the money uh, coming in, uh, you know, they start to doubt the business and then, okay, probably that doesn't work. Okay, that is where they quit. Okay, so that means what the mindset has to be, or you have to understand this is not a job, but an uh, entrepreneurship, it's a business. Just imagine the business in which you are working now, you are an employee, okay, of a company or where whoever you are working for, just imagine that person, okay, for who you are working, that business where you are working, the founder of that business, the person who set it up, that business, okay, how long did he or she, uh, you know, took to build it up so that, you know, that person can hire you to give you the money to work for him, okay, can you imagine that? It's never the first day itself, uh, he, I made the money, but you, when you joined the business, uh, you know, as an employee, you started making money from the day one. You work for eight hours and you'll be paid, okay? But not that person who started the business, okay? So you have to have that thought process very clear. Second thing is hobby and passion. What does that mean? So a lot of people join the network marketing, they start the network marketing business with a mindset of a hobby, hobby mindset. That means when they feel like doing something, they will do it, okay? So, uh, you know, they do not have a passion to build it. They don't have a dream to make it big. Okay. So whatever you take it as a hobby, what happens? You never make any money out of it. Okay. So I have, uh, you know, I, I, if I play badminton as a hobby, I'm not going to, I should not be expecting any money out of that. Because why? Because when I feel like, uh, you know, going and playing, I am just playing. But if I make, I have a passion to, play, um, uh, let's say, badminton, or I have a passion for football, or a passion for writing, I can be making money out of it. At least I can think of how I can monetize it. But if I take writing as a hobby, I can never be making money out of it because, uh, you know, hobby is, uh, has to become a passion to, for me to dedicate myself to work and start to make money. So, in a network marketing business, that is what happened. Most, a lot of people, I have seen it, they take it as a hobby, okay? Including me as well for a long duration of time. I used to take it as a hobby, okay? Never ever uh, put my 100% in, or at least thinking, okay? At the back of my mind, thinking about the business always, okay? I may, you may be working somewhere, okay? I'm not saying that you have to be there, you know, come, uh, you have to come into the network marketing business leaving your job. No, no, I never said that. But in the background thought process, you should be thinking about your business. How do I grow it business? Uh, you know, what is my turnover this month or expected turnover this month? Where do I see myself in the business in the next five years down the line? Do you have a game plan? Okay. Do you discuss about your business with your business mentors? So a lot of things goes behind it so that you can see for yourself that, okay, whether this is my hobby or my passion, you ask yourself that question, okay? How much of time or how long you think about your business 
decides or determines whether you are taking your business as a hobby or a passion. Okay. Third thing is mentorship. A lot of people, okay, they start the business thinking that they know everything about the business. They can just talk to people and get them into the business. And that is what the business is all about. But that is a, not the case, guys. Okay, so you have to be very clear in that, that it is a business just like any anything else, uh, you know, you are doing uh, anywhere else you are working to make money in a, in a job. You had to go through that education. If it's a skilled job, a lot of education or specific education to do whatever you are doing, even if you are doing an unskilled job, okay, then probably, you know, you have also been trained to do that thing, you know, because you have a certain things you have to do. Even if you are scanning, um, you know, um, goods at your local superstore, you know, at the till, uh, still it requires a bit of you know, customer interaction, you know, uh, you know, you should be able to, if the customer asks you certain things, you should be able to, able to answer certain things. It may not be a lot of skill set, and that comes from your, you know, you, you know, upbringing or your education, or you have finished your schooling or certain things, okay, which comes naturally, and that's where unskilled labor comes in as well, okay. But this is a business, pure, proper business, where it requires a lot of skill set, and that is where that is why it requires your mentorship of people who are already successful. They should be mentoring you. So you should have a business mentor. And good thing about network marketing business is you have a mentor. Okay, the mentorship program in network marketing business is embedded into that mark into the business model. So that makes it so beautiful, so unique that you don't have to pay uh, for mentorship to anyone. Okay, unlike any other business, you start tomorrow any online business. What happens? You have to pay for uh, uh, pay to be mentored by someone. Okay, or if you start any traditional business, uh, you know there is no mentor. Probably you just have to learn from your own mistakes. Okay, and you burn a lot of money and uh, learn from your own mistakes. Okay. Oh, well, you can ask someone who has already been successful in, in that, but most of the time they don't answer or they don't help you to resolve your problem. Why? Because when you succeed, you may get hold of, you know, take some of their, you know, customers as well. Okay. So they have a fear. Okay. That is a fear of competition, but not in network marketing business. Network marketing business, when you succeed, I succeed. That is the way the business model works. Okay, so first you, first uh, someone as a downline succeeds, then only the upline succeeds. Okay, so that means upline has a vested interest in downline success. Okay, that makes it so unique, so beautiful mentorship program. Okay, so you have to be willing to take a mentorship or you can't complain that, okay, I didn't make any money because uh, you know, I know how to build it, but I didn't know uh, it never worked. Okay, you can't say that. Why? Because you have to dedicate yourself to learn the business. So. Can you make money? Can you be rich in a network marketing business? It depends. Yes and no. If you take it as a hobby, probably not. If you don't take mentorship and help from anyone, you don't learn the business, probably not. Okay. If you keep the attitude of an employee, probably not. Okay. So now, what does it require then to become successful in this business? Now, this diagram explains it really well. First, you need a vehicle. Okay, so that means a good network marketing company you have to be associated with. It. So that, that is the vehicle which will take you from wherever you are to your destination. Second thing is the then is destination. You have to be very clear on your destination. Where do you want to go? Why do you want to go? What is your dreams? What's your ambition? What drives you? What's your passion? Is that something you want to go around the world, travel around the world, you know, holidays? You want to spend time with your family. You want to give back to charity. You want to help your parents. So whatever that is, okay? So you have to be very clear. So the destination has to be clear. That means whenever, when you sit in your, uh, you know, on your, uh, in your car and you drive it, you should know where exactly you are going to. So that means when you start your network marketing business with a proper vehicle, you want a proper stubborn vehicle, you know, a good network marketing company, you don't want a vehicle which will break down after uh, you travel for a, for a mile. So that means you have to go for a company which has a proven track record for sure. Okay. Otherwise, you know, you may end up, um, you know, your car may end up, uh, you know, um, I've been breaking down in the middle of the road. So you don't want that. But second thing, the destination has to be clear as well. 
So car, you know, the vehicle is uh, has to be there. The destination has to be there. Uh, clear, clear, clear. And then the uh, another thing, last thing, which is very important, is you need the fuel. Okay, what is that fuel means? You have to charge or you have to put fuel in a in your car. So what does that mean? So that means in order for you to drive, okay, you need that energy, okay, and you have to have always re, you have to reignite or ignite, okay, that um, in a dream every now and then, every day, every single day, you have to think about your dream destination. Where do you want to go? Why do you want to go? Okay, if tomorrow one of your friends laughs at you that way you are in the network marketing business, what is that you have in reply for him? Okay, so that has to be clear. When that is clear, then you are bound to succeed. There is no question about it. Okay, so guys, if it made sense, then you know, if you haven't downloaded this book, uh, you know, I am the author of this book called Launch to Leadership. Uh, you know, this is a guide, uh, you know, for all nine entrepreneurs, and this is very specifically is written for. Um, MLM or network marketing businesses, but there are a lot of concepts, okay, which is equally, it holds good for any business endeavor, okay, you start. And uh, there's a chapter here, okay, exactly what we discussed today, you know, it talks about the destination, starting your dream, preparation of your journey, it is it is there, I know, uh, the chapter three, okay. So this is an uh, exhaustive, a lot of information you will find in this book, which is a complete guide for you to uh, take your business from where it is, okay, wherever you are just starting the business to, you know, you have already scaled your business to a level and you do not know, okay, what to do next. Every step of the way, this book will help you. And this is completely free. You can click on the link, which is, uh, you can find, uh, you know, in the, in the below and just download it for free and start to not only download, but start to implement, start to read and implement. Then you can no doubt be successful. Okay, my name is Om Som Prakash. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business coach and a consultant. I help people just like you and uh, you know other people who wanted to be an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, I just that's what I do. I help other people to become successful. Okay, so don't uh, forget to uh, get hold of a copy of this book. Completely free. Download it and start reading and become successful. That over and out.